Hello and welcome to the WP Inventory Manager tutorial videos. In this video, we'll be covering the new Locations add-on, which is a powerful tool that allows you to manage inventory at multiple different locations, whether they have completely different items or the same item, just in different quantities. To start, we install the separate add-on plugin by navigating to Plugins over on the left, and then click Add New up at the top, and then Upload Plugin also at the top, where you'll simply drag and drop your file, or you can also browse to find it. Once installed, you'll be asked to activate it. And once it's activated, over here on the left under WP Inventory, you'll see some new items for locations and location activity. The first thing we have to do, as usual, is enter the license key to enable all the functionality. You'll also see there are some new Locations Manager specific settings, but instead of going there first, we'll first go down to the locations. You'll see we've already entered one location here, but this is where you can add as many locations as you have and as are necessary. We'll add another one here for our Austin warehouse. Just a simple field for some basic information of the location, and then hit Save Location. And then we'll now see it in the list. Now that we've entered a few locations, let's head back to our Settings page and look at the Locations Manager specific settings. There are some basic ones, such as the minimum role to use Locations Manager, which you can set to suit your needs, and then some more advanced settings. There's the Verify Quantity on Item Save setting, which we'll explain more in a little bit. And there's also the On Reserve Remove from Location Priority setting. When a user fills out a reserve form to reserve an inventory item, this list will determine which location that item is removed from. The one at the top of the list gets first priority. So for instance, if we wanted the Colorado Warehouse to get first priority, we would move it just up to the top with a simple drag and drop like that. So now when a user reserves an item, the Inventory Manager plugin will first look to see if the Colorado Warehouse has any of that item, but if it does not, it will then move on to the Austin Warehouse. The last setting is just a simple yes or no selection as to whether or not the location is part of the reserve confirmation email that the user receives. Let's head to Inventory Items to see this plugin in action. We'll click into one of our items here. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see a new field called Assign to Locations. And we can choose from the drop down all of our locations and choose how many are at this location. And then you can also add more than one location down here. And we'll say 90. Now that we're here, we'll go over the setting that we skipped earlier on the settings page. If enabled, that setting will run a check to ensure that the total assigned quantity to each location is equal to the total quantity available, which is set separately. In this case, they are equal, but if they're not equal, it will run a little notice right here. And if we try to save, we'll get an error that it does not match and the setting will not take. So we'll ensure that it does match and then save. And then we'll see that it's been saved successfully. The last feature of this add-on is the Location Activity Ledger. Here we're able to keep track of inventory increases and decreases of all the different locations. We'll see here these two entries for the inventory item we just updated. Whenever a quantity is updated at a location in the backend, the add-on automatically creates an entry in the Location Activity Log, where you can see we update inventory item 10 for the Austin Warehouse, 90 for the Colorado Warehouse. We can also create manual entries for any item, location, and whether we're increasing, decreasing, or transferring for any events outside of WP Inventory Manager's purview, such as bookkeeping edits, transfers to other warehouses, or reservations done outside of the website. As you can see, this add-on truly extends the functionality of the WP Inventory Manager plugin allowing you to run a more expansive store that encompasses many different locations of inventory items. Thank you for watching this WP Inventory Manager tutorial video. 
If you need further help, please refer to the tutorials page and the WP Inventory website under documentation. Or as always, feel free to reach out to us on the support tab of the WordPress dashboard. Thank you.